Why do you think the war on Ukraine is also a war on democracy? The war in Ukraine uh, is war on democracy and war for democracy. And I usually recognize uh, the war in Ukraine as a decolonial war and the war for democratic values. Because uh, what what make a difference between Ukraine and Russia is freedom of speech. What make the difference uh, or between Ukraine and Russia is uh, freedom of our people. We have rules, we have democracy, we have already six elected presidents in Ukraine uh, from uh, the beginning of our independence, which means a lot. It's not like in Russia, where you have a Putin already 22 years and uh, Lukashenko in Belarus. Uh, of course, our democracy is young, uh, our democracy is a little bit fragile, uh, but we protect it, and journalists protect it, and civil activists protect it. We have civil society in our country, and I think that our democracy uh, can teach a lot uh, other democracies. How can civil society organizations, people from the ground, from other countries, support Ukrainian people? You know, uh, our civil society is very strong and um, it's formed for the last uh, 20 years and uh, it took part in a lot of um, kind of protests for the future of our country and fighting for the democracy during the first Maidan Orange Revolution, during the second and Maidan Revolution of Dignity. And our civil society uh, plays an amazing role during this conflict. And uh, I think that the most interesting thing will be a change of exchange of experience among civil organizations from Europe and civil organizations from Ukraine. And you have to learn from us and we have to learn from you because you have this um, institu strong institutions. Uh, well, it will fragile. We are still uh, thinking about a lot of things and I think that we can learn from you this uh, sustainable um, development and you can learn how to affect during the crisis and how you can protect your ca country during the war and uh, during during like uh, yeah. this uh, these awful times. Do you have a final message to Democracy International and the whole network? You know, uh, I visited Berlin, I visited uh, the US uh, and I'm here now. It's an absolutely wonderful places and um, um, and when you face with war, for example, how we actually now um, face with Ukraine, you understand the real meaning of um, freedom. You understand the real meaning of um, independent media. And it, it, can, it, it can take him by granted, unfortunately, and uh, democracy can, take him, can be taken for granted. Uh, but I see that uh, here in Europe, you already live in, with all this, uh, but you never think about uh, that, oh my God, in different countries, people pay so huge price for that. They pay so much for that. Uh, so just just protect uh, your democracy and just uh, do everything possible uh, um, uh, to develop it yeah. and uh, don't think that it can take can be taken for granted. Uh, you should protect it. You should uh, fight for that, and you should uh, also help people from different countries who are willing to, to the democracy. Uh, just uh, give them opportunity that they will be a part of uh, this democratic world. Because it, yeah, only with uh, this young power. Uh, only with these young um, people and young democracy, the democracy can, can be developed in the future. <laughs>